The problem is people are so afraid of getting hit that they don't want to get close. So they want to be out here. And then what happens is they have to travel all of this distance to go from here to there. But if you can get a first of all, by giving them a moving target, that uh, <laughs> makes it twice as hard, at least twice as hard for them to be able to hit you. Then, then as I'm moving here, as, as he starts following me, and you can tell when they're following you, they start eyeballing, then whoop, then we step into range. So, so the movement is count, and then I bend my knees, I bend at the waist, I lean back, I lean forward, so, and then my hands are in front, so just in case something comes off, my hands are still in the way. But by moving my head, it makes it that much harder to catch it, and then he doesn't see when I actually so I'm here, I'll, I'll, I'll camouflage it, and then whoop, and then I step in. So sometimes I just slip and don't step in. So then it makes them feel comfortable, like, oh, he's just moving his head. And then, then they start to maybe overcommit, thinking you're going to stay still, then you step into range. So you have to be able to, you see the difference? Just watch him. Now, now as he comes here, see, now, see how you're getting closer? Look, the goal is, if this is our point and this is us, we don't have to cover all the ground. That's what I was saying. By him putting a hand out there, it creates a barrier that you can't get past. It's an invisible barrier with this fit. Well, it's not invisible because if it hits you, you're going to know why it's there. So you're going to know why it's there. If I try to do this, it allows too much time for them to react. So my goal is to move here and be able to step in without them realizing that I'm stepping in. It's to camouflage the, 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 the distance closure without, with movement rather than speed. It's the rhythm of the entry rather than um, the speed of the entry and the timing of the entry. So that's what, so I mean, I can get a hold of anybody just because I know that. I'm not afraid to be in the pocket. I'm not afraid to be in close. I have the defense where I can cover and to shell to get a hold of you. And I'm not shooting from too far away because that's where you get nailed. If I start shooting from here, he's going to knee me. Boom. You know, if I start shooting from here, he's going to uppercut me. Boom. But if I can slip into range, see how it freezes you? So that, like, it's just kind of like, oh, shit. These are overly simplistic, but, but when you start mixing them, the duck, the slip, slip in, slip out, you know, slipping in and controlling the hand that can hurt you, or blocking the hand that can hurt you. Now you're absorbing the only thing that they can really hit you with, and they're in. And now it's just a matter of, that's one layer. Now, I mean, I can clinch, I can pick up a single. Now, I'm mean, close enough to where you're, you're too close to get hit. Or I can just run you into the wall. Then the wall will make up the difference. Now, I'm smashing into the wall. Now, it becomes another predictable game. In order to get in, the way you guys are doing it, or we're doing it, you're never going to get in. It's going to take, and then, or you're, you feel like you're shooting from too far. It's like, Jesus Christ, it's too far. So, you have to kind of freeze them and then whoop, step in. To step into the point where oh, you want uh, you want this reaction. Now you're so close, you're on the inside, and that's where. And then now once you're in, you got the single, you got, and you went through the danger zone un, unscathed. Ooh, I'm in position, so I'm zigzagging. So now it's no longer a straight target. What's harder to hit? If I go straight in and I miscalculate, I'm going to walk into it. But if I'm here. It makes it harder, so I need that weaving movement. So what I want is put the hand out there, and at first we're coming under it, and then we're coming under the step. Step, 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 step. Same foot with this. I want him to basically stay put, so I can step in. That's a little bit more dangerous, stepping in that way, obviously, with that hand. But as you step in, you can go here, and that will minimize it. So one thing you can do is as I step out, I come here. Boom. And now we're on the inside. So my target is that hand. We're just kind of keeping you, know you know how you do that shit to me? Yeah, I'm going to. If the guy's kind of pawing, I'm doing this, you're going to see that hand throw. Go throw that hand. you got to move this one out of the way. He can't throw it. Hit me with the right hand. He can't. So if I'm here and I see this one, so it's it becomes predictable. And if you miscalculate, ah, he caught me in between steps. He caught me in between steps. 
I still have my hands. Ah. My hands are still in the way. You call me. Ah! <laughs> Generally, I use my my head, my movement around, and then I'll step off. See? But now I reset. Now I'll walk it. Now we score up again. Now I'll walk it. See how I engage and disengage? Yeah. Well, we're here, we're here, we're here. Yeah, it's not my game anymore. Yeah, now who's controlling the pace? So now when you put the hand up, now I'll go. So now I'm timing. And um, subscribe to my channel.